What's up everyone, GTA King here, back here from their GTA 5 video to show you that the car, the car merge, still does work. This is the method without the Galaxy Super Yacht. Now, this is very consistent, but it does take timing, and it does take patience with it. It. Now, this method, like I said, this is without the Galaxy Super Yacht. The Galaxy Super Yacht one is more, better, and easier, and it will work first try every single time, but the glitch out is similar to the Galaxy Super Yacht version. So the requirements you will need is a friend inside your session. Now, I recommend not doing this in a public session so people will not be tempted to grief you while you are trying to do the glitch. It but you can do it in the public, but I recommend invite only or friend sessions or crew sessions for this glitch. You will need someone inside a different targeting mode on your friends list on Xbox or PlayStation. Doesn't matter which one you are on. On. So if you are an assistant aim, you will need someone inside a free aim. If you are inside a free aim, you will need someone in assistant aim to bounce off of. And you will need someone inside of your session with you that has a membership at the LS Car Meet. You will need a membership at the LS Car Meet as well. You will need your donor car out on the map, which I already have out. Your donor is going to be the car that you pull the mods from. And you will need to know the name of the car. And you will need to own the car that you would want to put the mods onto. Now, there are some settings you will need inside of GTA Online to get this glitch working for the people that are merging. So, what you want to do is open up your pause menu, go to Online, and you want to go to Options, and you want to set these options as Pacific. You want to go down to Matchmaking, set Matchmaking to Closed, Allow Spectators to off and join next mode from spectator box to don't join if you don't have those the glitch out will not work for you now a lot of people were commenting on my last video that they were not getting this option right here at the spectator box to press right on d-pad so i'm going to tell you an easy method on how to get that so you want to open up your interactions menu you want to go down to map blimp options. And once you're on map blimp options, you just want to go into series mode. And you want to set the first option to custom and just turn everything to show. But the one that really is going to count here, the one that's going to make that thing work for you is the Arena War series. So you just want that. To set be on show now I do recommend as well going under jobs under map blip options and turn all your jobs to show and once you have them to show you should see all these little blue icons on the map and you will see why that's gonna come in hand in the future right after we get glitched out it's very important those are turned on very simple now from here, what you want to do is make sure you register as a CEO if you're not already. So you want to go back in the interactions menu and register as a CEO for the person that is glitching out. So you want to go ahead and bounce off of Anawak if you're on new gen. Or bounce off of your friend, whoever you want to use that's inside different target modes. So you go to their profile. You're going to hit join game. And you're going to accept the first alert, decline the second alert about the different targeting mode. You're going to go up to the ticket booth, press right on the D-pad. And once you're on this $10 alert that you see in the top left-hand corner of my screen, you are going to need an invite to tighten a job from the person inside of your session. So once we get that invite and we're on the alert, I will tell you the next steps. We're just waiting for the invite. Now 
once you get the invite and you're on the alert like I am, they just want to back out of the job. So I just want to press B and back all the way out to where they're on the ground. And once they're on the ground, they just want to let you know. So then you can continue on with the next step of the process. So we're just waiting for them to back out of the job. Once we know they backed out, we'll be good to go. So since they backed out, now we want to double tap our A button. So it's going to be A on Xbox and X on PlayStation. We're going to double tap, listen to three thumps, and then we're going to press A on Xbox and X on PlayStation. As the third one is fading away. Now that was a miss right there. But this is what you do to fix the miss. You just back out of the arena war. And you're just going to start it up again. So what you're going to do is bounce off Anawak again. Your person in a different target mode. And then we're going to go back on that 10. We're going to get another invite to tighten up a job. Um, now if that does happen. Like I said you just back out. You just redo the glitch again. But you, what you're looking for is to spawn on the map with no mini map. So you should be outside the arena war with no mini map. So we're going to bounce off of Anawak, go up to the ticket booth, once again, press right on D-pad, and now we're just going to wait for the invite to tighten up a job again. Now the person can back out. We're just waiting for them to back out, and we'll be good to go. And there we go. We did go in the arena war. Again. So like I said. This does take timing. I will not edit any of this out. You do have to have patience with it. Guys. Like I said. It, it does work consistently. Once you hit the glitch. So I'm just going to bounce off again. Of my person inside a different targeting mode. Now we're just going to wait for the invite to tighten again. And then. We'll definitely try to get here on this try for y'all. Now we just need them to back out and we're going to double tap our A button. That time as it did work, this is what you're looking for. So you were able to see two failed attempts. So that is good. So now you know the process of what to do if you do get the failed attempts. But this is what we're looking for with no mini map and we're outside. So now we just need an invite to the car meet from the person that is inside the car meet. That is inside of your session. Once you're inside, you just want to open up your interactions menu and request your personal vehicle from your vehicles list that you had outside on the map and that will be your donor car remember your donor car is the car that you are pulling the mods from and then once it's in here either you or the other person inside your session can stop a sprint race does not matter who starts it up 
you don't know how to start up a sprint race, you will have to have a membership at ELS Car Meet. And you and your friend will have to have their cars inside of the car meet. And you want to go to your interactions menu, LS Car Meet. And you want to go to Sprint and start that up. So I'm going to join the Sprint. As soon as we join it, we're going to call our mechanic. And we're going to hover over the name of the car that we're going to want to put the mods onto. And if we're not fast getting that menu open, what will happen is we will lose the opportunity of hovering over the car. You want to call the mechanic and hover over the name of the car you want to put the mods onto prior for the sprint starting. So once you join the sprint invite, you just want to call your mechanic. Once you're inside the sprint, the person that is not merging, they just want to drive around on the map so they don't get kicked for being idle while you are doing the merge. You are completely glitched out at this time. So once we have this countdown of three, two, one, now we just want to hold Y one time to respawn. And then we want to go up on our D-pad or down our D-pad does not matter to get that list of cars that we want to show. And now we're going to make sure we're hovering over the name of the car that we want to put the mods onto. And we're going to go behind LS Car Meet. And we are going to drive the car into the water. And we're going to spam A on Xbox and X on PlayStation if we want the car we want to put the mods onto. So we're just going to go behind the LS car meet and drive the car into the water. And we're just going to spam A. And we're looking for infinite black loading screen. And I'll tell you what to do on that infinite black loading screen here once we hit it. So once we're on that infinite black loading screen, you just want to go to your person in a different target mode real quickly. And you want to join on the game. You want to press A, B, A. And then you will spawn with the car that is modded. If you stay on the black screen too long, it will not work. Now, this is where those jobs come in on the map that was talked about turning on earlier. You're going to start up any job on your map. And then that will end the sprint race. That cancel out the sprint. And then you just go change something on the car to save it. There's three ways to save it. You just can go into LS Car Meet, go into the mod shop, and change something on the car to save it. Or you can go to LS Customs. Or if you have a mobile operation center with personal vehicle storage and bay 3, you can easily call that out, drive the car in. And you can save it that way. Hey, if y'all did find this glitch very successful, go ahead and drop a big fat like on that video, on this video, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications, and please join my GTA Discord server. And I will catch y'all inside of the next video. Peace out, and I'm gone.